My name's John Haro. Um I've been a fan of mammals for a good part of my life. Um, and uh, I'm running the course this weekend at Kondrogan Field Study Centre uh, that I call Scottish Mammals. My background is in teaching and, and school teaching, uh, which I did for 30 years. But uh, for the last 10 years or so, I've been a mammal consultant. Now, why am I doing this course at Kondrogan? Well, I've been a tutor for the Mammal Society's course on mammal identification, that is identification of all uh, terrestrial mammal species in the UK, for many years. What, what I do is actually cover four mammals, that is pine marten, red squirrel, water vole, and the fourth one is otter. All these four mammals are ones that I can give people um, some information on, and as well as practical experience of looking for them, looking at them, um, if possible, uh, but particularly looking for signs. What I like to do with this course is use uh, a variety or show people a variety of methods of studying mammals. Um, so it's not just being able to see them or see uh, things like uh, tracks and sprints or scats or things like that. But, but uh, there are techniques uh, like camera trapping, for example, which is becoming more and more popular and allows us to, um, to get uh, good uh, either photographs or short videos of, of, uh, of mammals when we um, can't do it in any other way. Um, and also techniques like uh, using uh, tunnels which um, allow you to get footprints or um, we also use uh, hair tubes to get uh, hair from hair samples from squirrels because it allows us to tell the difference between red and gray squirrels in a, an area even if we don't see the animals um, that sort of thing now Kondrogan Field Study Center is probably the, one of the best if not the best place to um, see both red squirrel and pine marten in Scotland because we have fantastic opportunities for watching these uh, the red squirrels here run about around the grounds all day long. Um, and the pine marten, well, you, you, you do require a certain amount of patience, but you can get to see pine marten in the uh, evening and dusk period. The course is intended for all sorts. It's not just intended for professional ecologists, for example, but we do get people of that background coming along. It's for enthusiasts for wildlife generally or people who just want to get experience of mammals that uh, uh, they haven't been able to get elsewhere. I'm a PhD student at Bristol University. Um, I'm doing vibrations engineering so that's the day job but I've always been into the outdoors, um, always loved walking, climbing, expeditioning, camping but I've not really done much ecology or wildlife uh, so I thought this would be a great place to start. I, I'm doing a degree in zoology and um, it, I've learned stuff but then also it's accessible for people like Tim. Mm. It's just enjoyable, like lovely walks and teacher John was really good. Um, we went in the coach to different places so we explored a bit of Scotland. It's been good. I thoroughly recommend coming to Kindrogan. As I say, there's, there's a hammock just over there and you can watch the squirrels all day. <laughs>